Surcouf was a French submarine ordered to be built in December of 1927, launched on the 18th of October 1929, and commissioned in May 1934. Surcouf, named after the French privateer Robert Surcouf, was the largest submarine ever built until it was surpassed by the first Japanese I-400 class submarine in 1943. Her short wartime career was marked with controversy and conspiracy theories. She was classified as an undersea cruiser by sources of her time. The Washington Naval Treaty had placed strict limits on naval construction by the major naval powers in the world, but submarines had been omitted. The French Attempted to take advantage of this building, three Corsair submarines, of which Surcouf was the only one to have been completed. Surcouf was designed as an underwater cruiser, intended to seek and engage in surface combat. For reconnaissance, she carried a Besson MB-411 observation float plane in a hangar built above the conning tower. For combat, she was armed with six 22-inch and four 16-inch torpedo tubes, and twin 8-inch guns in a pressure-tight turret forward of the conning tower. The guns were fed from a magazine holding 60 rounds and controlled by a director with a 5-meter rangefinder mounted high enough to view 11 kilometers of the horizon and able to fire within 3 minutes after surfacing. Using her periscopes to direct the fire of her main guns, Shrikouf could increase this range to 16 kilometers. Originally, an elevating platform was supposed to lift lookouts 5 15 meters high, but this design was abandoned quickly due to the effect of roll. The submarine's fuel tanks were very large, enough fuel for 10,000 nautical miles or 19,000 kilometers, and supplies for 90 day patrols could be carried. Although she had her impressive specification, Surcouf proved to be plagued by mechanical problems. Her trims was difficult to adjust during a dive. On the surface, she rolled badly in rough seas, and she took over two minutes to dive to a depth of 39 feet, making her extremely vulnerable to aircraft. Good afternoon, folks. Switcher here with an inbox review. As usual, I do uh, things of objects of interest, and this is no different. And today I give you the French submarine Surcouf in a 1 and 350 scale. It's from uh, Hobby Boss. And if you give me a second, I'll have a look at the box here, and I'll give you the kit number. The kit number is 83522. Uh, the reason why this uh, particular kit was acquired, because it's unique, uh, this was known as an undersea cruiser. Um, as you know, uh, the description there, a little bit of history, you provided that. Okay, and it's an interesting subject, and that's why I got it. And I have a penchant for submarines. So, uh, without further ado, uh, let's see what's in this box. <clears throat> we have, uh, one, two, three sprues. Some photo etch, some clear parts, our decals, our instructions, and so on and so forth. So, uh, as you know me, I always do the paperwork first, so uh, we're not going to change that today. We'll just move all this stuff uh, aside, and uh, we'll have uh, a look. Hobby Boss instructions are relatively uh, easy and simple. Uh, having built previous submarines is a piece of cake. Uh, there's not much, okay, uh, here we have it, uh, a little booklet, uh, open up, okay, very simple, we have our, uh, our sprue map, uh, over here, and like I said, we had, uh, one, two, uh, two sprues for the submarine, uh, one for the aircraft, okay, the, the Besson. Uh, we have our stand, we got our photo etch, and we have our decals. And uh, basically, uh, we always start with the hull and the diving plane. There's no difference here uh, that's going on over here. And uh, then we have our rear diving planes and rudder. Okay, that's all step number one. Step number two is building uh, the search aircraft. Okay. 
Step number three is putting the conning tower and hanger together. Uh, stick number four is building the gun, and stick number five is putting all this stuff together, including photo etch, okay, for uh, the railings, and that goes on the stand. It's a simple build, okay, uh, nothing much to it, and uh, we'll lay that aside. Uh, it did come, and this is what I like about Hobby Boss, okay, I always uh, enjoyed that, and I wish more manufacturers uh, did it, and uh, here we have uh, a full... Uh, depiction of the submarine uh, painted from uh, on both sides plus, plus an overhead shot and it gives our color call outs and the color call outs that we have on that is Mr. Hobby, Valheo, Model Master, Tamiya and Humbro. Okay so uh, I will be building this with uh, the Tamiya colors just because uh, I have them all <clears throat> and uh, so without further ado let's have a look at our sprues here uh, having built uh, several Hobby Boss uh, kits in the past, uh, I know that uh, they go together uh, really nice, and there's never been any major problems, but let's have a look at the plastic here. And uh, let's start her off, and we'll put this on the measuring stick, so 6 to 18. This submarine, uh, once completed, will be 12 inches long, and we're going to take this opportunity here to uh, zoom in. Okay, and uh, there we have it. Um, looking at her and so on and so forth, I see uh, no flash. Uh, we can see our vents uh, clearly depicted there. Okay. Uh, nice detail, okay, for the, uh, for the deck. If the camera will pick that up. Okay, the planking and so on and so forth. Uh, like I says, there's not much to these kits, and uh, it is what it is. Uh, we won't take the stand out of its uh, package, okay? Oh, it is just a plastic stand, so there's not much to see there. Very few parts in building a submarine. That's why they go together uh, quite quickly, but they can be quite challenging when it comes down when it comes to time to uh, weathering them. And uh, I've got several pictures of her. And uh, there we have uh, the main sprue. And uh, we'll try to get... Uh, I lost my little card that used to uh, I used to use. I can't... I misplaced it. Can't seem to find it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, there we have it. Okay, and it's all its glory. Uh, we can see uh, the fine detail. If I can get her to focus there on the, the conning tower and hangar. Okay. Uh, not much. Delicate parts, periscopes, and so on and so forth. Uh, we have our uh, our diving planes forward and aft. Okay, we have our rudder over here. Uh, this is uh, part of the turret. Okay. So, uh, very little uh, with regards uh, to parts on these. Like I said, it's a, it's a submarine. There's not a lot. Uh, photo etch. Uh, basically, we have the outside of a ladder that we can find uh, right there. All the rest is guardrail. And I will be employing the techniques that uh, I saw for the uh, on my i400 uh, when it comes to putting that together. Um, Pre-drilling and so on and so forth. And uh, here we have uh, the bison float plane. It's all in clear. And uh, last but not least, we have our decals. For those that are wondering, it says that there was a lot of uh, there's a lot of history on this particular uh, submarine. Uh, Wikipedia has uh, some great uh, some great uh, historical events. Okay, uh, on the Surkouf itself. Um, with, with regards to uh, conspiracy theories and so on and so forth, and um, but the reason why I wanted to build this really, and uh, that was a boo boo here, scotch tape on the deck, all but it's, anyways. Uh, there we have our markings, okay, and uh, nothing much. 
There we go. The decals are... They appear, they appear to be in register. So that is that. Uh, that was a uh, probably my shortest uh, inbox review I've done in a long time. Uh, the reason why I built her is, uh, like I said, that she was the preamble, okay, to uh, the i400, and it's uh, it doesn't matter uh, who's who in the zoo and all that stuff. I mean, nations have been stealing from each other for years. And uh, when the Japanese uh, saw this, they improved they improved their version and, uh, and so on. They like uh, they had their their deck gun, although theirs was a five inch and so on and so forth. Um, but uh, their entire uh, philosophy was uh, being capable of uh, bombing. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, the I-400 had a capacity of 35,000 miles, okay? So uh, the Surakouf was with third, but it also, uh, when this was uh, supposed to be utilized and all that good stuff was in uh, within uh, the confines of uh, the North Atlantic in Europe and all that good stuff, and not like the Japanese that had to uh, sail across the Pacific, okay, to another continent, it had capability of either sailing... Uh, east or west, okay, when he decided to sail, but uh, a lot of it had to do with sailing from the west coast, and um, uh, hit the, uh, the Panama Canal, okay, uh, which was one of their things, and of course, uh, to harass the Americans on the west coast. So uh, the preamble to the Surkouf, okay, was the, uh, the preamble to the I-400 was a Surkouf, and uh, it's just a little something uh, to add in my stash. And this was a 20 some odd dollar kit, okay, uh, shipped uh, free of charge, okay, from Hong Kong. And I said, yeah, for 20 bucks, i got to add that to my stash. Without further ado, folks, thanks for watching. Switcher, signing off.